I, I, I zombie finished and then it's the, you know, can you make magic happen again and book another role? Can you book role number two? Because <laughs> that lasted for five years. Right. Um, and I was terrified. Uh, you were terrified of what? Not having a show. Of what's next? What's next? Where do I go? Well, you saved your money and, you know, you think no. you, you didn't. <laughs> no. I thought I, I, par I went mental. Are you a partier? I was. You were a partier. Yeah. When you say party, drugs, alcohol? Not drugs. I'm, I was never really a, uh, on the drug scene. I, I'd i never lived away from home and I'd never really had disposable income. And I zombie shot in Vancouver. Now. And being up in Vancouver and it's raining all the time and it's gray skies, as you know, yeah. which probably get, prompted you to drink. It did. <laughs> it did. It did. It does. And it's, it's yeah, it's super privileged problems. I get it. But, you know... It what turned into like a blow off steam Friday turns into a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you you drank a lot heavily, heavily every day. Yeah. Like how? What's heavily? Like what's one day of drinking? I mean, it wasn't like Five, eight beers. Oh no, it would have been like uh, I would do half a bottle of Jameson, half a bottle of Jameson, then, and then like vodka sodas. Along you can it. drink that much. I was at that time. I'm a lightweight now. And you're like 32 at this point? Yeah, I was between 28 and yeah, 28 and 33 was the And years. you could still learn all your lines, mm -hmm. do all your shit, mm -hmm. come prepared, be a pro. I couldn't keep the weight off though. But, I now get nervous if it's a late night snack, I'm like, oh. mm, I don't want to have this at night. I don't want to almost die. No. Yeah. How how did you quit the drinking or or how did you slow down? How did you stop doing 5 days a week? I zombie stopped. I zombie, you stopped it for the work. Oh, no, as soon as the show was over, it stopped. I've never <laughs> drank like that since. What, so what do you? What was the meaning behind drinking? Being alone, being in Vancouver, being alone, being, being in Vancouver, being on that show, dealing with work politics. Um, you were depressed. Yeah, you were depressed, and the alcohol was a uh, was blowing it? off steam, partying, just partying. And I wasn't like an alcohol. I didn't feel like I was an alcoholic. I didn't have a problem. But then I don't know. You look back at it, and you're like, fucking hell, we used to polish off a lot of drinks yeah you know and then you know this and i start hearing back the stories about things i did or places i went and i'm like bad parts hell. of town you didn't go to hastings did you i went to hastings yeah that's a rough area oh yeah you it's a super rough area you gotta be careful on the old <laughs> hastings in the hastings yeah you but, know yeah but yeah it just it, it went with the job early on you said you're an emotional person mm. what does that mean what kind of emotions are you, are you someone that cries a lot yeah you do cry a lot. Everything. Really? Every emotion. So you you get angry often? Yep. In the same day as crying. So you could lose your shit one day and, and cry. Yeah, and be happy. Really? And have the best day. Do you, I, do you like that about yourself? No. Or is it something that you're working on so you can control that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't like it. You're like, I don't know. Because like... Does it, does it work for you? Is it... I, I, I haven't figured it out yet. Because... My mum will tell you that I've always been like that as a kid, just extremities of emotion. And then I, I did need therapy after I was on me and I tried therapy for the first time and it felt cliched. Really? Like, oh yeah. Well, it felt cliched to do it because I was like, of, oh, course, it, of right. course you now live in LA and you're a little London boy and you're sitting there going, I think my granddad was this and like... So it, it took a while for me to feel, and I felt like I was, I was doing some really weird shit in therapy. I was so self-aware. I felt of like course. I was bullshitting. Yeah, I felt, yeah. like, I felt so, like I was on, in an interview. You're making them like you. Yeah. I was playing I, I've them. done that where you're just like, yeah, you know, I don't have a problem with that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, it's like, so what are you up to this weekend? What'd you do? Like, yeah. This isn't, this is about you. This is about making you better. This is about getting all your demons out. Yeah. And once you can sort of relax into it and stop that bullshit and the truth starts to come out, that's when it's therapeutic. Yeah. I never got to that part. You never got to that part. No, I was still in the performing, get trying to get validation, waiting for the therapist to be like, well, I've seen your work and you're a fantastic actor. Or you're very handsome. <laughs> and I felt like I was just trying to manipulate therapy. Into, but what came from it was a mild form of a diagnosis of bipolar. Wow. 